Aside from basic mouse movements and copying and pasting, Altium Designer has many useful tools for selecting and moving items in the PCB. This video will give you a quick overview of what we can use in various situations. The most common commands can be found from the Edit menu. For example, we have specific submenus for selecting, deselecting, moving, and more. One thing to remember is that the shortcut keys for these commands are underlined in each menu item. So to move the selection of items, we could have used the EMS shortcut keys as well. Most of these commands are self-explanatory, so feel free to experiment with them as you wish. A unique and useful tool that we can use is cross-select mode, which allows us to select components, pads, and nets in the schematic, and have those items highlighted in the PCB. It's useful to use cross-select mode at the component placement stage, where you can select a functional group of components on the schematic, and place them all in the PCB at once. It's also worth noting that items originally selected in the PCB will also be highlighted in the schematic. You may have noticed the selection filter that was added to Altium Designer just a few versions ago. This filter allows you to enable which objects can be selected and they would be highlighted in blue. Maybe you want to move a few components, but not any traces or items surrounding them. You would then enable components to be selected, make your selection, and move them as you wish. Just remember to reset the filter to all on when you're done with these specific tasks so that you can select everything again. Being able to select a large group of objects and editing them all at once can be a huge time saver. This is done using the Find Similar Objects command. By right clicking on any object, we can use the command to find and select objects on the board with matching or different parameters based on the filters that we choose in this window. Once you click OK, we could change the properties of all these items at once from the Properties panel. Now if you want to take it a step further, we can see that it creates an expression in the PCB Filter panel. This panel allows you to create queries and select objects, which can help you create design rules. Becoming familiar with these tools will help you complete your design much faster.